Hi guys, so we're back uh, for another advancement or advanced installment here on this dashboard. In the last one, although we had a completely functional great dashboard, we added a spin button uh, or a scroll bar, which it's called a spin button, but acts like a scroll bar where we can quickly select and change dates and everything changes uh, alongside it. And in this one, what we're gonna do is so let me backtrack for a second. Right now, with this graph, we are able to select a load variable, like RPE, duration, or SRPE, and that'll change the line on this graph. And we're able to select a readiness variable, which is the bar. And you can select stress, sleep quality, energy, or the readiness score. But now what happens if I wanna see sleep quality versus stress, or readiness score and energy, or I wanna see SRP versus grade. Well, right now with the way that this is built, we can't do that. And I kind of intentionally went this route. It's not a route that I normally go. The route that I usually go is making all variables accessible to all the dropdowns. And one way that we can do this, and you can name this whatever you want, but I wanna make all the variables accessible to you so that you can see, for example, grade versus SRPE, which right now you can't do. And the way that we're gonna do that is, this is the line. I'm just gonna call it line. I'm gonna call this bar, okay? So now, instead of manipulating the types by load or readiness, now we're gonna just manipulate them by whether they're on a line or a bar. And the way that we need to do this is in our reference sheet, let's add a, add a column. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add all the variables together. I'm just gonna say all metrics up here. I'm going to copy and paste the load metrics, copy and paste the readiness metrics underneath. And these aren't going to be available to us right now because we're going to have to redo our data validation. If you remember how to do that, we go to data. Here, I'll go back to home. Go to data. And there's this little icon, data validation, which allows us to make a drop down list. I'm going to click on that. Right now, we have a list. It's looking at these. I don't want those because that only has a select number of metrics available. I want all these. Get out of there, click OK. Now when, now I have all my metrics available to me. I'm going to do the same thing here. Data, data validation. Let's, it's a list. Let's go and we don't want those anymore. We want all the metrics. So we can compare any metric to one another. And now all of them exist. But what, so if I select any of the readiness metrics, it should work. But if I select, let's say SRPE, well, you know what, or duration, we didn't accommodate for that in our formula. So what we have to do is, let me go back to sleep quality for a second. We need to change these formulae here. And the way to do that, in my opinion, the best way to do that is we've already done this and the formulas are gonna look really complex just because there's a lot of stuff in them, but we've done this before. I'm gonna copy this, paste it somewhere else. And this is gonna look really overwhelming. And it, it kind of is, except we know what's going on here and conceptually it's not that difficult to understand. We need to change some things around. There's a lot of words and stuff in here, but don't let it intimidate you. It's not that difficult. So right now, the first thing is we are looking at reference B2. We want whatever's in A65 to equal reference B2. I'm going to go to reference B2 or Bs. And now we want them to look at the Ds, not the Bs. So notice B2, B3, B4, B5. We're going to change this. I'm going to copy this reference B up until the B, nothing after. And I'm going to do a find replace. I'm going to copy, paste, reference B, and we're going to replace it with reference D. Okay, that's the first thing that we're going to do. Done. Okay, now we're saying, now we want, now in our formula, we're telling it to look for whatever this is and match it up with reference D2 instead of B2 or D3 instead of B3. And that aligns, D2 aligns with latest RPE, D3 aligns with latest duration, D4, SRP, D5 grades. Now all we have to do is copy and paste what we've already done down and 
add some other metrics to it. And now we have two sets of this, right? So we have D2, D3, D4, D5, which are latest RP, latest duration, SRP grades. Then we have D2, D3, D4, D5, which are latest RP, latest duration, SRP and grades. And that's because in the first set, we, we aren't accommodating for the cohort of interest or position maybe in your data set, but in the second set we are. So that allows us to get the class average or the overall class average versus the average for a given um, positional group or cohort of interest or whatever your categorization is. So to get this started, I'm gonna do Alt, oh, I shouldn't talk so slowly, Alt tab or Alt enter, Alt enter to create some space. I'm going to take this last one that we have here, which is getting grades. I'm going to paste it beneath. I'm going to remove this box, actually, because I don't want it right now. And instead of grades now, now we're going to start adding the readiness metric, so stress. But we don't want it to look at D5 anymore. We want it to be D6. I'm going to copy this. Alt, Enter, Paste. Instead of D6 now, we want to look at reference D7 and get sleep quality instead of stress. And I'm not going to copy again because I already have it uh, copied. I'm going to do Alt, Enter, and just paste. And now instead of D7, we want to look at D8. And instead of sleep quality, we want energy. And then finally, Alt, Enter, paste. Instead of D8, we want to look at D9. And instead of energy, we want to look at readiness score. Great, so the first half is already done. Now we get into the other type of formula where we're considering for the cohort of interest. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna to go to the end, okay, the end of the formula. Alt tab, now this is important, okay? I want this, the, the end of this to look like everything else. So I'm gonna do a parenthesis, comma, alt tab, alt tab. Copy this, paste it down. Now, again, we're finding instead of D5, we want to look at D6 and get stress. And again, I'm going to Alt Enter, paste it. Instead of D6, we're going to look at D7. And instead of stress, we're going to look at sleep quality, or we're going to get sleep quality if everything that we said is true. And Alt Enter, paste it down. D8, instead of D8, we're going to get or when we look at D8, we're gonna get energy instead of sleep quality. And then the last one, Alt Enter, paste it down. Instead of, now when we look at reference D9, we don't want energy or grades, we want the readiness score. And now we're gonna close this formula off by adding parentheses until this one is black. Parentheses, 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 I'm going. Can't tell if that was black. Keep on going. All right, looks like that one's black. I'm gonna click enter. Perfect, so this is equal to whatever this is. So my formula is working pretty well. And now what I can do, okay, is I can copy this formula. I'm gonna do a couple, of, uh, a couple more find and replace, but they're really simple. And I'm just gonna paste it across all of these, okay? All the load and all the readiness ones that we have here. And you know what might make sense? After I'm done pasting that in, I'm gonna change this to line and this to bar because that's our new methodology behind this. So the la now you'll notice all these numbers are the same. And that's because the last change that we have to make is we need to, them to look at the right date cells. So right now, we are looking at B82 for all of these, which is that date. Now we have to do a find replace here Look at, instead of B32, B82, we want to look at C82. And we find, replace, I'm just going to type it in, type it in dollar sign B, dollar sign 82, dollar sign C, dollar sign 82. Click replace. Okay. I'm going to select these two. Now instead of B82, I want F82. So we'll replace B with F. Same thing, replace B with I. Same thing, replace B with L. Uh, 
I don't like these dollar signs. They're annoying me. So I'm just going to highlight all these. And there's going to be this thing here. I'm going to click on it and say ignore error. So now, theoretically, I mean, let's see if this works. Um, looks like it does. So if I choose, I should be able to choose anything here. I'm going to compare duration with RPE. Okay, so I screwed up a little bit because there's one more find and replace we have to do. I'm going to select all these on the bottom, okay, because one other thing now that I'm looking at it is we're looking at A65. So we want A65 to equal reference D2, D3, et cetera. And that's the same thing for the bottom ones, right? But what we actually need to do for the bottom ones, for our bar ones, we need not A65 to equal reference D2. We need whatever this is, which is A69. So I'm going to select all these cells, find, replace, dollar sign A, dollar sign 65 with dollar sign A, dollar sign 69. Okay, I'm going to do a replace. Now that looks a lot better. Now, we're able to look at anything we want. So now we have, let's say we have RP as a line, which right now it's the same. We can look at RP as a line versus RP as a bar and they should be exactly the same. Or I can look at RP as the line and SRP perhaps as the bar. And you'll know that this is changing because I can click on the value, click on a cell and it says the value is 210. And we see that on that chart. Whereas if I click on the dot, scroll over it, the value is 3.5. And that's aligning with that axis there, which is RPE. And we can do the same thing if we want to look at, let's just say, sleep quality and energy. Right now we're looking at a graph that is sleep quality versus energy. And I guess the last thing, so I don't need this anymore. All right, so I'm just going to remove these errors. I don't like these. I don't like these green errors here. All right, um, we're looking pretty good, and I'm not sure that I that I have anything else with this except for maybe let's just show you how this looks. So if I select all this stuff, I can set a print area. I'm not going to do that right now, but if I go to File, Print, and I have my print selection selected and fit sheet on one page. That looks like a, I mean, it fills up the page. It looks like a nice, a nice report. And this is ready to go. You can print this off on a daily basis and, uh, and we're good to go. I'll probably go through a couple of more, uh, a couple more additional installment things um, to help give ideas to, to improve this and, and do it in different ways. But for now, great job. And we just keep on advancing on this thing.